Welcome to the Weather Insights Briefing. I'm meteorologist Scott Pitney, along with meteorologist Jeff Linder. We're recording this Sunday afternoon on January 5th, 2025. And Jeff, typical Southeast Texas weather, we've got spring and wintertime the same day. We've got some active watches and warnings right now. Um, mentioned the uh, tornado watch in effect there northeast of the Houston Metro. That's in effect until six o'clock this evening. And then we've got several uh, winter type um, advisories and, and they've changed the definition. So let me just cover those real quick and uh, confuse everybody before we uh, say where they are and how long they are. The first is a freeze warning. The freeze warning has replaced the hard freeze warning and freeze warning there, the first one is issued when we have freezing temperatures in the area at 32 degrees for at least two hours. Now, after that, after that first freeze warning is issued for the winter season, then any freeze that we get where the temperatures are at 24 degrees or below for two hours is still a freeze warning, uh, which replaces the hard freeze warning. So, Hopefully that makes sense to everybody, but I uh, want to get that out. And then we have another new product called a cold weather advisory, which replaces the wind chill advisory. And this is issued when wind chills fall below 25 degrees for Harris County and County Southward and 20 degrees northward, uh, Houston County and counties northward of that. So, what, we get, what you're seeing on the map right there is the um, freeze warning. That's the dark purple area just uh, south of the tornado watch area. And that's in effect for all of those counties, through a lot of southeast Texas there. And then we have the cold weather advisory, and that is the light blue shaded area for uh, pretty much the central part of Texas. And then... Uh, of course, out in the Gulf there, we have a gale warning because we've got this strong cold front that it's making that is making its way through Texas right now. And look at the contrast in temperatures, man. We've got temperatures in the 20s in Oklahoma, 30s in North Texas, 40s. You can just kind of see where the line is right there, where the yellow is and just kind of south of that. That's about where the frontal boundary is. You, know, you see that nice bow indicating a, a very strong cold front moving in our direction. Showers and thunderstorms out ahead of it. Probably see that all ending around 3.30 or so in the afternoon, Sunday afternoon for the Houston metro area. And then that front pushes offshore and then winter sets in. And we are expecting those freezing temperatures to start sometime around midnight tonight for the most of the uh, Houston metro area, Jeff. Yeah, it's going to be a big change here. So we got, you know, when the front comes through, we're probably going to get a good 10, 15 degree drop in the temperature pretty quick. And then it's going to be downhill all night long. And so like you mentioned, this contrast, 86 around the Corpus area right now wow. versus oh, 43 or so around Fort Worth. And so this is the low temperatures forecast for tomorrow morning, Monday morning. We're looking at a light freeze across much of the metro area. So we're talking low 30s, maybe the upper 20s. Uh, the woodlands over towards Katy, Tomball, Cypress, you may be around 29 or 30 or so. Uh, colder a little bit further north, uh, the upper 20s around College Station, Huntsville. And this is what we call an, an advective freeze. And what I mean by that is the cold air is going to be blowing in here on really strong north winds. So we're talking winds of 15, 20, 25, 30 miles an hour all night long. And so this is going to be pushing those freezing temperatures southward into our area. This is different than what we call a radiation freeze. And that's when it's clear and calm and the heat from the, the surface radiates out into space. So this is a, a, a freeze where it's a little bit more damaging, especially to sensitive vegetation, because you can go out there, you can cover the vegetation, but that strong wind pulls the, the heat away from uh, the coverings and that kind of greenhouse effect that you try to do with covering any type of sensitive vegetation. So the good news is we're not getting really, really cold tonight. And so that may help a little bit on the vegetation. You know, this is not really looking to be something that you need to worry about your pipes, you right. know, your wall pipes or anything like that. Even tomorrow night, we're not looking at that. But sprinkler systems, they are vulnerable. You know, the best thing to do is 
shut them off, drain them I properly, know. and 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 um, make sure they're protected. But you know, we're not looking at issues with pipes in your walls and stuff like that. And then these are the low temperatures for Tuesday morning. So a little bit colder. Again, we're looking uh, low to mid or low to low 30s, upper 20s across the metro area. So we're talking downtownish, 31, 32. Maybe 30 degrees out towards uh, the southwest in Fort Benton County, upper 20s, northwest Harris, mid 20s into Montgomery County, up towards Huntsville and College Station. So that's kind of getting borderline up north there in that Conroe, Huntsville, College Station area for that hard freeze criteria that you mentioned earlier. So everybody's under a freeze warning for tonight, tomorrow morning. We'll see which counties potentially could be under a freeze warning for Tuesday morning based on that hard freeze criteria of getting down around 24 for two or more hours. And this is probably going to be the coldest night because then clouds and moisture start to come in from the southwest. And the chaos has been going for, I don't know, seven to ten days now yeah. um, on winter precipitation and who's going to get winter precipitation. And if you want winter precipitation here, in southeast texas the trend is not our friend here um we have seen uh increasing confidence now that we are going to get precipitation but this coastal low that forms so we have an upper trough coming out of the southwest us this is classic pacific moisture overrunning the cold air at the surface we get this coastal storm that forms down here off the lower texas coast but this this low that forms off the lower texas coast is just too close to the coast and it's going to be pushing warm air back northward uh, into southeast Texas. And so the, the kind of the rain snow line is likely going to be somewhere up over north Texas or, or maybe down into central Texas as we get into Wednesday night and Thursday and even into Thursday night. So this is Thursday around noon. And this is just one model. This is the European. I would take this exactly for verbatim. You know, Dallas, Fort Worth could get into some snow. I think probably the better chances are you're looking at here around Abilene and then definitely out across West Texas from Lubbock down to uh, Midland and the Odessa area. And we'll have to see if we get any of this, which would be much more concerning, this ice here across the Texas Hill Country and possibly the I-35 corridor, maybe Waco down to near Austin. Yeah. Um, that's some potential. And, and this is kind of that situation where this... Think we might have and this one's very marginal. We're talking surface temperatures during the degree range, so you can get snow with that, especially back to the north and the west. But it's just really a marginal setup here for this, and we'll just have to see. This is the GFS for the same time on Thursday. You can see it's a lot less moisture. Uh, it even has questionable um, if you have snow up in North Texas. And so the, if you look at the ensemble approach and all that, it is showing some snow here across North Texas, North Central Texas, back in Northwest Texas. Um, but this coastal low is just way too close to the coast here for us. Now, could this change? Sure. But I, I think the trend here over the last uh, day or so, day and a half, has been more, a little bit warmer air coming into our region to keep everything, unfortunately for us, um, probably just a cold rain. Um, if, if you wanted snow, it's probably not going to happen here in Southeast Texas. There's an outside chance we're maybe talking 5% that you could get something up around the College Station Huntsville area Thursday night uh, when it's really cold. Um, you know, maybe some freezing rain or some sleet or maybe a little snow mixed in, but I think that's even a pretty remote chance now. And so, Obviously, we're dealing with winter weather. We're dealing with it in Texas um, for this week, and so we'll keep checking back on that. And if you were to see any changes, we'd probably uh, come back and, and talk about that if the trend were to maybe slide south a little bit. But so far, we haven't yeah. been seeing that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll jump back on if we see any major changes. And for those of you that are not fans of winter weather, well, I've got good news. We'll start seeing a warming trend Starting the weekend, and I took a peek at the uh, climate outlooks for the next three to four weeks, and uh, they're, they're the chances are 50, 60 percent a little higher on uh, on it being warmer over the next few weeks. So it could be one of those 
um, January's were winter short lived, but again, uh, the, those are uh, long term predictions. So things are always subject to change in Texas. So check back with us and uh, we'll at least have an update uh, weekly or so to let you know what's going on with the weather. And of course, you can get those updates on our YouTube channel by uh, subscribing. Make sure you turn on the notifications for weather insights and then check out our briefings as well on the weather insights website. We'll have all those links in the notes. Jeff, thanks very much. Have a good one.